<laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. Hey friends, Ash here. Welcome back to Gen Sense. How are you? In today's video, I'll be going over with you guys the fragrances that my fragrance is up against for men's prestige release of the year. Men's prestige fragrance of the year, technically. And uh, I know everybody says this, I'm just happy to be nominated. I'm just happy to be here. And as long as I don't come in absolute last place, that's a win for me, baby. <laughs> and, and I'm up against some, uh, some pretty fierce competition. So let's jump into it. We will tackle the fragrances that my fragrance is going up against the whole shebang. Let's talk about it. And friends, as always, these will be linked in the description below. So the fragrance of mine that is up for this prestigious award from the Fragrance Foundation, uh, men's prestige fragrance release of the year is Terra Nova. Oh, oh hello, uh, light glowing. Uh. Terra Nova, uh, which is one of the fragrances, of course, that I creatively directed along with Blue Ridge and before that, Jet Black Enigma. By the way, if you want these, they're in every Perfumania, every fragrance outlet in the US and also available online, which is also linked in the description. Code Gent Sense, 20% off, sucker. Obviously, I am biased here. So I'm not gonna be going through this list saying, oh, you, you should pick this or this should win over these because of these reasons. I'm not gonna do that, that's, that's stupid. But I will say, I love Terra Nova. Ultra versatile, big compliment puller, fantastic citrus opening. It's got this little green edge to it, uh, very classy. So Terra Nova, uh, that is my fragrance that is up for nomination, technically. These are the nominations, but I guess it's up for nomination to become a finalist. Because the way that this works is these 10 fragrances are the nominations, and then there is a panel, a professional panel at the Fragrance Foundation, and they vote for the finalists. So I believe five of these will move on uh, to that final round, and then a winner will be announced later on at the Fragrance Foundation Awards. So that's how it's gonna go. So this is essentially like phase one of the whole shebang. And you can go onto the Fragrance Foundation Awards um, website. They've got the previous year's winners and everything like that. I think last year's winner was age 24 in this category. So yeah, let's uh, let's go through this. Let's see uh, what I'm up against. All right, so the uh, first fragrance that I'm up against, uh, Zaro, the Most Wanted Parfum. <laughs> Oh, ouch. I love the most wanted parfum. <laughs> what can I say here? Fall and winter time, big compliment puller. It's, you know, following along with that trend right now, that kind of gourmandy, warm, sweet vibe. Incandescent woods in here, giving you a little bit of smokiness. Bottle looks slick. There's a lot to like about this one. So Zorro, the most wanted parfum, that's a first thing that we're up against. Let's see what else. Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum. Now, Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum, I do like more than the Eau de Toilette. This one also a little more warm, a nice little spicy touch to it, a little sweetness, that wood carrying over from uh, the Eau de Toilette version of Burberry Hero. Packaging, simple, clean. But one thing is gonna set this packaging over the top and that is, ooh, magnetic cap, oh man. And as I understand it, Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum actually selling very well in retail stores as well. So that one also coming for me. The next one is Carolina Herrera's Bad Boy Cobalt. And in case you haven't been able to tell yet, we're going in alphabetical order here. Anyway, Herrera Bad Boy Cobalt. Uh, this one has been compared a little bit to Invictus Platinum, and there are similarities between Cobalt and Platinum. They're both doing the same thing in a similar way. Uh, they're fresher than the last couple of fragrances that we've talked about here. Uh, once again, has that sweetness to it. Little green vibe as well. Uh, so Bad Boy Cobalt, also in the running. Some big houses that I'm going up against here. I mean, Michael Malou, we got to go down fighting. And the next one, yeah, it's, uh, it's a big one too. Uh, Giorgio Armani Code Parfum. And I like this one as well. I mean, what can I say here? A nice uh, use of iris in this one. Not overdone with the iris, just 
keeping it nice, classy, clean, easy to wear, and magnetic cap. Mm, dang it. And this is a, a big one. I mean, it's a big name, Armani, and it's their newer code flanker that's kind of changing up how they're tackling Armani code right now. So, yeah, Armani code parfum. And after Armani, um, Hermes, Hermes, Terre d'Hermes, Ogivre. I love this fragrance. I, I really, really enjoy it. The opening, I think, is great. That natural citron in there, a little bit tart, a little bit rindy, but also fresh. Dry down, it's woody, keeps it classy in typical Terre d'Hermes fashion. It's not earthy at all. You know, it's not got any of that dirt or flint facet to it like you'll find in the original Terre d'Hermes and some of those uh, original offerings. But for a summertime Terre d'Hermes, I think this stuff is fantastic. And if they win with this, they will have won, I guess, two years in a row. Okay, next one. Jimmy Choo Man Aqua. Maybe who can beat Jimmy Choo, let's go. Oh man. Yeah, so Jimmy Choo Man Aqua, easy to wear. You know, it's a, it's an aquatic fragrance. What, what can you say really? It's, um, it's sporty, good gym fragrance, summertime fragrance, a nice casual daytime scent. You could wear it to the office. This is the kind of fragrance where I would tell you if you're interested in it, you know, maybe uh, wait to pick it up from discounters because it's probably going to go for you know somewhere in that 30 to 40 dollar range when it pops up on fragrance discounter websites and i think that's more so where i would feel comfortable with this one like some of the other ones i could say yeah you know you want it pick that up at retail you're not going to be disappointed you're not going to regret it but this one that's the first one where i'd say yeah maybe hold off on that one now the next fragrance that I'm going up against is the only one that I don't own and I have not smelled it. Uh, oh wait, no, 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 I did smell a sample of it, but I don't remember too much about it. I think it was kind of nice. It's not a very good uh, description. <laughs> I think it was okay. But it is Kinetic by Toomey. And Toomey's been making moves, you know, they've been making fragrances, putting them out there, uh, typically known for luggage, high-end luggage, but they've been dropping some some fragrances here over the past few years. One thing that I did like about the Toomey fragrances was their cap mechanism. I thought that was really cool. That is also not useful as far as breaking a fragrance down. So Kinetic by Toomey going up against that one. Nothing else to say. Two more, two more that I'm going up against. Valentino Womo, born in Roma, Coral Fantasy. Coral, Coral, Coral. <laughs> Remember The Walking Dead? So this one, uh, continuing in the trend of Born in Roma, you know, taking the Valentino Uomo line, making it sweeter, uh, more mass appealing, uh, based off of the, the current trends in perfumery and, and skewing it a bit younger. That's what you've got here. I do think it smells good. Real nice. In the air, actually, this is very good. I initially was a little bit predisposed to uh, not liking Coral fantasy as much, but you know, first impressions, I thought this stuff is pretty good. And then as I wore it uh, a little bit since I've had it, grown to like it more. Kind of same thing happened with Yellow Dream, actually. Let's go ahead and recap before we do the last one here. So I and Michael Malol are going up against Azaro, the most wanted parfum. That's rough. Burberry Hero Huda Parfum, Bad Boy Cobalt Code Parfum, Ogivre, Jimmy Choo Man Aqua, Kinetic by Toomey, and Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. So this is, again, why I was saying, you know, just give me some. Come on, voters. I'm not going to beg you, but don't put me in last place. Honestly, if Terra Nova made the finalists, like the real finalists, I don't even know. I'd just be like, ah. Oh. This is unexpected. But yeah, it got, it got the work cut out for us, you could say. All right, the last one. And I almost feel like this is cheating. I almost feel like this one shouldn't be entered here. Come on, guys, what are you doing? Yves Saint Laurent, why Eau de Toilette? This came out years ago. But then Yves Saint Laurent tweaked it and re-released it. The new why Eau de Toilette. So mm, here it is. And I, I can't hate on it. Actually, I think that the re-release of Y.O. de Toilette is a little bit better than the original Y.O. de Toilette, so yeah. Dang it. 
I mean, it's a massive release. I mean, anything in the YSL Y line is a pretty big one, right? So rate one to end on. <laughs> Just chuck that in the pile too, heck with it. But uh, there, there it is, little, little old Terra Nova, the little fragrance they could. I think that you smell great and I'm proud of you. Also shout out to Hamid Mirati Kashani, the perfumer of Terra Nova. This is all you right here. This is 1% me, 99% you. So there we go. Fragrance of the year, men's prestige. Again, I'm just happy to be here. And I will absolutely make a video when the time comes, uh, letting you know <laughs> where we finished, <laughs> assuming that they let us know. They'll be like, look, you guys did really good. You got a lot of votes. You came in 10th out of 10, but you, you did get a lot of votes for sure. Feel good about yourself. But yeah, I'll let you guys know. I, I think that officially, um, these are not listed on the website right now. I think that they only list them uh, once it's at the finalists. Could be wrong on that, but I did a cursory look around the website and didn't see the whole uh, nomination list up there. It's like on a, a back end uh, web page, but not on the public facing web page, I think. Hope I don't get in trouble for this. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video.